Welcome to another mailbag video, and this is episode 2. And since the last video I've gathered a few new interesting products I want to share with you. And some are some components for future projects, and others are just some simple products that I will use around my workshop. And remember that these videos are for helping you decide on what products and modules we have there on the market that you could use for your own projects. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. We start with the first product that arrives from a company that is named Infraray. It's been a long time since I wanted such a product for my workshop. And this is a thermal camera compatible with our smartphones. And I really needed such a camera for measuring temperature while making electronics projects. Inside of the box we have the user manual, a USB cable, the main camera which is very tiny but has a lot of high tech, and we also have a macro lens. So open the user manual and scan the QR code. And that will give you the link for the app. So download it and install it. Now open this app and plug the camera into your smartphone. And make sure that if your phone has a USB Type-C, to order the camera that has the same connector. Open the app and it should automatically start the thermal camera. And I have to say, this is very cool. Even better than expected, the quality is very very good. We can see things that the naked eye can see. For example, I can see the temperature of my hand. And if I place it over the table, I can leave the print of my hand. Something that would be invisible to the naked eye. Also here is my workshop with the normal camera. But here is the workshop with the thermal camera. I can see all the hot spots such as the Wi-Fi router, my camera, and the PC which is very hot. So using this camera I can now check my PCBs under load and see which part will get hot. This is a prototyping PCB. I connect power and we make it run 200 mA in current mode. And I can automatically see that this relay is getting hot, because this component is in charge of passing the current for measurement. So this is quite a useful tool. And by the way, you can also snap in place the macro lens. And now I'm able to get really close to the components and see the hot spots with more details. And that's very useful when you have multiple small SMD components, one next to each other. And then on the screen from the palette, you can change to different color formats. And you can take a photo if you want or make a video. And if you click this button here, you can also see the real camera at the same time. And that's also very useful. And you can also activate the professional tools and have a scale and drawing lines for better measurements. You will see this camera more in my future projects for sure. So guys, if you need such a product, which is very awesome, check the links below, and that being said, let's go to the next product. But before we see some awesome new products and components, let's just hear a word from our sponsor, PCBWay. Hey guys, PCBWay is sponsoring this video, and let me just tell about their services. For example, look how awesome their prototyping PCBs are, and you can get this for only $5. They are so professional, and they will make your project work a lot better. And to order such PCBs, you only need a few minutes on their website, where you can select any configuration that you want for your boards. Along with that, you can also order the SMD stencil, for soldering the components using solder paste. And you can also use their services for flexible PCBs, and create some unique projects. And if you want to make your project start to finish, you can get the PCBs assembled together with the mold injected part, or maybe 3D printed, metal parts, or other CNC services. All with PCB Way. Okay guys, the next product is from a company that is called Minchun. And this is the Beagle camera that is made for 3D printers. It gives you a full control of the printer and you can see what is printing and also create a time lapse. So let's check it out. I print a lot for all my projects and it will be very nice to also create a time lapse, right? So inside the box you get the main camera, the user manual, 
a power adapter with a USB Type-C cable, another USB Type Micro-B and another USB Type-B, in case that your printer uses one or the other model. So connect the power adapter and the USB Type-C to power on the camera. And on the back we connect the USB that goes to the printer. And by the way this is the list with all the compatible printers, so have this in mind. Now get the printer USB and plug it into the controller PCB of your printer. And power on the 3D printer. And when you turn on the camera you will hear a voice that the camera is ready for Wi-Fi. So go to the Play Store and search for Beagle Print app and install it. Then open the app and first create an account with your email. Then log in and click Add Devices. Select the scan QR code and we add the name and the password for our Wi-Fi. Then we place this QR code in front of the camera and you will hear a beep. And after that you press Next and the camera will automatically connect. And now we can see on the smartphone what the camera is seeing. But now go into the camera settings and copy the IP address, which is this one here. Now open the browser on your PC and go to that IP address and log in using the admin as a password. And now we can control the printer from here. For example, you can move it, hit up the bed or the extruder, you can home the machine and so on. You have full control. And you can do the same from the smartphone app. Ok, so go to files and import a G code that you want to print. In my case I've created this vase example. Then you press the load and print button and the printer starts. You have to place the camera at around 20 cm from the printing object. And while it's printing this camera will automatically create a time lapse. And once finished you can go here and download this video file for the time lapse. And if you are using a resin 3D printer, in order to synchronize the frames of each layer, we have this UV detector. So we have to place this detector inside of the printer, close to the UV LEDs. Then you connect the detector to the camera and you are good to go, and also create some time lapses for the resin printers as well. So guys, this camera is very useful for controlling your prints remotely, for creating time lapses, taking pictures of your prints, or simply controlling the printer with an internet connection. So check the links below for the connection tutorial and for the product in case that you want to order one as well. And from now my 3D projects will also include a time lapse. Ok guys, now let's check the next product. And this one arrives from Miniware and we had a few other products from Miniware in the past, such as my soldering iron that I use all the time and this cool power supply. But this time we have an electronic load, the MDP L1060. And as always, the design of the Miniware products are awesome and very elegant. And there we have it. On the side, we have the connectors for the load and the supply voltage. And this electronic load could work with up to 60 volts, 10 amps, and a maximum power of 100 watts, which is more than enough for my simple electronics projects. And this could provide a constant current mode, constant voltage, constant resistance, and constant power. And for each mode, these are the top ratings and precision. And as an additional feature, it could also measure battery capacity. Ok, so I use a USB cable and power on the electronic load. Now press the set and the menu button at the same time and power it on. And then by pressing the set button, you can cycle between the modes. So let's test the constant current for example. I use the knob on the side and adjust the value. If you press and maintain the set button while using the knob, the values are changing a lot faster. So let's set it to a constant current of 100 mA for example. Now press the run button and you'll see that the fans inside are starting up at a very low speed because the temperature is still low. And that's because for now we have no power connected to the load. So I set my power supply to let's say 12 volts. I connect it to the electronic load and press run. And there you go, exactly 100 milliamps are now passing through the load. 
and we can adjust it to any other value up to 10 amps. And we can do the same for all four modes, for voltage, current, resistance and power. And this device has an over voltage and under voltage protection, also reverse polarity protection, power and temperature protection. And we can see the temperature on the screen and for high current values we can hear the fans increasing the speed and keep it cool. And by the way, you can also stack this with a power supply and the display module that are compatible with this electronic load. In this way you can control the supply and the load remotely, from around the workshop. The screen control is wireless, so you don't need any wire in between. So guys, I can now use this electronic load to test my projects for all values of current, power and resistance, and all inside of such an elegant and small metal case. Ok, now let's see the next component for this mailbag. I bought these bottles for a future project and this is called a ferrofluid. Basically some very fine metallic particles and these are attracted to magnetic fields. Because I want to make a homemade speaker that will control this other component that I've also received. And this one is an electromagnet. Basically the music will control the magnetic field of this electromagnet and that will move the ferrofluid. And like that we will have some ferrofluid that is dancing to the rhythm of the music. And that will go together with some nice speakers, a good bluetooth amplifier, some RGB LEDs and maybe a 3D printed case, so stay tuned for that, it should be a very cool project. Ok guys, now let's check the final part. For a future video that I'm preparing, I've ordered all sorts of connectors and tools for those connectors, with protection or not, for PCB or for wires, that are permanent or removable and so on. So in this future video I want to go over each one and show you how to use it and when it's better to use one or another connector, so stay tuned for that as well. And now just as a final extra part, as a mailbag, I also receive like each month or so, a new case kit with components that I use. And this time I've ordered some typical diodes that I use all the time. Some resistors of 1 watt and also some 20 turns potentiometers. And along with that I've also bought these two organizing cases, like these ones, for small SMD components. And we also get some labels, so we can add all the SMD resistors and capacitors on each slot. It will be a lot of work, but like that I will have everything organized. So guys, that was all for this mailbag video. I hope that now you have a better idea of what products or components we have out there to buy for our projects or workshop. You have all the links below, so check the description, and if you want me to show a new product, comment below, or maybe you could send me your own PCB or project if you want me to show it on these mailbag videos. Thanks again, and see you later guys. Hey guys, so that was another project and I hope that you like it. As you all know, to buy all these modules, a huge help from you is from Patreon, so if you want to support me, you can support me there, but also just commenting below, giving me a like or sharing this video, it will also support my channel. So thank you very much to all my patrons and to you guys.